aliens, it's Camille, and today I am here to talk to you about the dangers of drugs and alcohol. Just kidding, today we're dyeing my hair, but instead of me staying up until 4 a.m. after a mental breakdown and dyeing my head hair, we are dyeing my armpit hair. <laughs> Fun fact, the state of my mental health is directly correlated with the length of my armpit hair. So clearly I have not shaved in a little while. So I decided that instead of shaving, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun and dye my armpit hair and just see what it looks like and see if I can get it to look good and match my head hair. I've low-key always wanted to dye my armpit hair, but I guess I've just never had a reason to. Also, normally I'm the type of gal who likes to shave and have very smooth underarms, smooth legs, smooth everything, but clearly that is not the case today, so we're just gonna have a little bit of fun. Also, just wanted to put a reminder out there that it doesn't matter what you wanna do with your body hair. If you're a woman and you like to be completely shaven, good for you. If you don't like to shave, good for you your body, your choice, it's up to you. And I'm not here to judge. I hope people in the comments aren't here to judge, but either way, this is just some harmless fun. So let's get these green pits. If you haven't already seen my video on how I dyed my hair green, check it out. It's linked in the description box down below. And as you can see, my roots have definitely grown out. They're like an inch long, so I'm bleaching them like tomorrow. I don't know. I always say when I'm bleaching them, I'm never bleaching it that day. I'm bleaching it sometime in the near future, but I want to match to this green. And the dye that I used for that is Cowabunga by Good Dye Young. And I have extra left over, so this is perfect. I can perfectly match. And just like every other time I dye my hair, we're going to start off by bleaching it. I'm going to be using my current favorite bleach, which is the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me Bond Enforcing Premium Lightener. And to go with it, I'm using the matching developer, the Blonde Me Premium Developer in 30 volume because my hair is really dark and my armpit hair is a little bit thicker than my head hair. So I feel like 30 volume is perfect for that. I already feel really weird doing this video and I know the comments are gonna be like, but whatever, this is fun. And I know some people are gonna enjoy watching this and I'm gonna enjoy making this. So here's a close up of what we're working with. You can see that it's dark and pretty much black. Also, quick reminder, having body hair is natural. It doesn't mean that you're unsanitary. Yes, I shower, obviously. Guys who have body hair shower. Women who have body hair shower, so. Anyways, enough disclaimers. Let's get right into bleaching. And I'm really hoping that I can do this in one round. I really do not wanna have to sit through two rounds of bleaching. So fingers crossed for that. I'm going in with like three quarters of a scoop because I don't need as much as I do when I'm doing my roots. Also, I ordered gloves which have not arrived in the mail yet. So I am being very careful to not touch any of the bleach with my hands. And I'm gonna estimate with the developer. I know you guys hate that, but this is not my head. So I feel like that's okay. I also got a scale. You guys bullied me into buying a scale. So that's also on the way here. And I'll be using that for the next time that I'm doing my roots. But just for today, I'm going to be estimating with a developer. I'm doing roughly a one to one and a half ratio of bleach to developer and mixing that up really well with my brush and the reason that I'm using this amount of developer is because I want it to be thicker and not runny because that way it will burn less and it will also stay in place and it will also bleach better that's what I found so I'm doing that because I don't want to burn my underarms which I'm like I really hope it doesn't burn that much but we're gonna find out I'm trying to figure out if I should wear this shirt or if I should like try to wear something else because I don't want to accidentally bleach my dare shirt. How am I going to know to not do drugs? I just realized that I can use a clip to just like get that out of the way. Yeah, that helps like that helps somewhat. Okay. Okay. I see what we got going on. That's nice. Yeah, that won't ruin my shirt. Okay, good. This is the consistency of the bleach. So that looks pretty good to me. All right, here we go. Okay, so far I'm still alive. It's not burning me yet. I'm being very gentle because there's no need to rub it into your skin. Just like get it around the hairs 
and that's all you need. It's like really hard to see though, says the girl who dyed the back of her head alone. Okay, this is not that bad. It doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't sting. And I think it's like holding in place on my skin really well. I'm just trying to make sure that I get everything. If I get some really good saturation and everything is just perfectly color colored, <laughs> covered, then I might not have to do a second round, which is my ultimate dream. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. Oh my gosh, my shirt keeps getting too close and I don't wanna show any titty in this video. If you wanna see that, go to my OnlyFans, link down below. Psych, and stop asking me to make one. <laughs> No shade to people who have OnlyFans, it's just not my thing. These hairs are kind of hard to coat because of how coarse they are. They like stick straight out. So it's not really like laying down the way my head hair does. So this is a little bit difficult. I think this is probably as good as we're gonna get on this arm. This is what it currently looks like. I put a lot on there so I can get a really nice even coating. I actually am starting to feel the burn, so I'm gonna hurry up and do the other armpit. I don't know how I'm going to. I'm just gonna have to like do that. Some kind of yoga move. I could get Kyler to help, but he's asleep already. So this is up to me. Got a nice healthy glob on there. And let's get this party bleached. Oh no, did I touch my shirt? Oh, no, 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 come on, don't do this to me, baby, we can get this out, we can do this in time, we got this, I got this, totally got this, oh no, I think that's pretty good for now, but I don't really know what I was supposed to wear for this video, but I'm just gonna try taking a hair scrunchie and tying this at the front so it stays out of the way. I have never spent this much time looking at my armpits. And neither have you guys. <laughs> but you know what? Now I have a whole new appreciation for this part of my body. The only annoying part is that the hairs won't stay down. Like, come on, I'm trying to get these hairs laid, but they keep sticking out of the bleach. These unruly, ungodly hairs. <laughs> Looks like I'm talking to my armpit. I'm like, hey there chameleons, it's Camille. Today we're doing armpit. Okay, I can't really see the other part, the other side. So you guys tell me, comment down below and help me. I think it's so funny how family channels will sometimes be like, where did the guy go, left or right? Comment down below and tell me which way to go. And then people will comment and be like, go left. And then press play again and see what they do. Like you can actually impact what the person is doing in the video after they've posted it. But if there are any four year olds watching this video, Comment down below and tell me what to do so I can have more engagement in this video. I mean, so you can help me out. Okay, this is a lot. I feel like that's, that's a lot going on and this one's already dripping. Oh gosh. Okay, so this one's already getting foamy. I have more bleach, so I'm just gonna put it back on top. I'm gonna start a stopwatch so I know how long these have been bleaching and I'm just gonna go around like this for the next hour. I love it. This is looking really good so far. Oh my gosh, this is looking blonder than I expected in the amount of time that it's been on. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the other side, just in case, just in case any of these bad boys don't wanna be bleached. Should I do my eyebrows too? You know what? Why not? Psych. <laughs> I'm not that sad. Oh no, on my shirt again. My biggest problem is this drip. So I'm gonna try and fix that while I can before it ruins my shirt even more. And if my shirt does accidentally get bleach on it, I'm just gonna call it distressed. That's fashionable. Also related to the burning situation, 
it's not really burning right now. I actually feel pretty good. I used the right amount of developer so that the consistency would not only hold in place pretty well, but also be more on the bleach side than the developer side, which burns less. And it worked even though armpits are kind of like sensitive areas. But this is working out pretty well. I'm very happy with this. So now I'm gonna go sit on the couch and watch Danny Gonzalez videos for the next 40 minutes. Unless I come back and say a different number. It has been 36 minutes and my armpits are completely bleached. They look so good. You guys can't tell, but I looked at them up close. But I had to put these paper towels surrounding my shirt because it was starting to drip. And even though I got that drip, I didn't want to get that drip on my shirt. So time to rinse these off and you'll see what I mean. Okay, that was bad engineering. It's also been really fun to be like this for the past 36 minutes. So fun. I'm just gonna wipe this off with a paper towel first. I'm like really excited about this. They look so good. <laughs> this is so crazy, I look like albino. I'm gonna get some wet paper towels now. So I'm wiping all of that off. Okay, this went farther down than I expected. <laughs> I'm using a wet one on this side too. This is what the hairs look like up close. They're very transparent, translucent, kind of clear looking. All of those were synonyms, but you get what I'm saying. The skin under my arm is dark in general because I'm black and that's what happens when you got melanin. The hair looks very blonde after one process and one process is enough. So now that I am all bleached, it is time to go in with the color. Next, I'm going in with the same green, Cowabunga by Good Thy Young. This is semi-permanent and doesn't have any peroxide, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. Oh man, that is so beautiful. I love it. Honestly, this already looks good to me. Look at that. Like, Vogue, I can like totally Vogue with this. This is gonna be such a fun photo shoot. Actually, it might not look that great when I do a photo shoot because it's on like everything right now. It's on my skin, it's on the hair, but it's only gonna stay on the hair when I rinse it off. So it's gonna be way less bright green, but I'm gonna enjoy it for now. This is also probably gonna stain my skin for like a day or two, which is totally normal. It's gonna stain my fingers for the same amount of time, but it always does that and I already know to expect that. I'm just gonna rub that in, make sure I get all of the hairs. Top, bottom, side ends, get it nice and green up in there. And I think we're good on this side. I'm gonna do a close up of this side so you can see all the action. Look at that clear hair completely green now. The green color that you see here is the green that you're gonna get. Cause the hair start, like I'm saying like you're gonna get, no one's gonna follow this tutorial. I'm gonna get, this is the green color I'm getting because the hair was like completely white slash transparent. So this is exactly how it's gonna turn out when I rinse it off, like this shade of green, not all the skin staining. This looks actually incredible to me. It looks like straight up leprechaun armpits. So here we go. This is the final shade of green and I'm gonna let this sit on for like 20 minutes before I rinse it off. Honestly, this color adheres to hair really quickly. So probably don't really need to put it on for longer than that. So I'm just gonna let that sit and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This is what it looks like. Exactly the same as expected. I don't know how long it's been because I forgot to count, but now we're gonna rinse off the excess and I'm just gonna use paper towel since we're on camera, but if it gets too difficult, I'm probably just gonna hop in the shower for a sec and rinse it until the dye runs clear or the hair runs clear. That looks really cool already. Oh, I like that. Oh, I'm going through so much paper towel today. Okay, it definitely looks like very leprechaun-esque, but like, high fashion leprechaun. So you can kind of tell the difference. This is what it looks like 
without rinsing everything off and then this is what it looks like with most of it rinsed off there's still going to be a little bit of staining just like on my fingers but that will go away and i'm really liking how this color came out so far so i'm going in with one last dry paper towel to pat everything dry and i am very happy with these results okay this is super bright and like incredible i love how bright it is it's making me wish that I didn't have my roots growing in so I could be a little bit more coordinated and everything, but I'm here for this. I know people are gonna hate it, but like, it doesn't matter because I like it. I can finally remove these clips now. But yeah, I was originally just gonna do this for fun just to see what it looks like and then shave like right after, but I kind of like it and I think I'll hang out for a couple days with this and you know, just have a little fun. Ooh. Got a little peekaboo green in there. <laughs> I need to go to bed. <laughs> all right, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and check out all of my social linked in the description box down below. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go find me some lucky charms. I wish you all a happy, healthy life and I will see you in the next one.